Hi there, YouTube. Uh, Shane here. Going to do a little velocity testing today with the uh, Tolkien whip. And uh, let me show you the bow because uh, I don't usually go into a lot of detail on the production bows, but this is a custom one, so you might be kind of interested. This is the 64-inch uh, whip, and it's uh, made by Dan Tolkien up there in Montana. This particular one is a 64-inch, uh, 40 pounds at 28. It's got the micarta riser, and it's got the uh, veneers or mango. Take a look at there. It's got those nice little tips. Nice slender limbs at the, uh, at the tip. They really uh, are built for uh, built for speed. Okay, let me have a little look there. Then on the belly, we got mango again. On the on the grip area and on the front there, there are some accents that are done up with uh, coco bolo. And as you can see, it's coco bolo and micarta done up in layers. So it has a nice look to it. So anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, test the velocity with, uh, with four different arrow weights, ranging from about 330 grains on up to about, about uh, 570 grains, and uh, we'll, see how it, we'll see how it does. Our first arrow is going to be a gold tip warrior, 600 spine with a 125 grain tip, total arrow weight 335 grains. Zero four. Two zero four. Two zero seven. Two zero one. All right, we're moving up to a GT500 with a 145 grain tip. Total arrow weight 394 grains. One nine or eight. Nine or five. One nine or niner. One nine or six. One nine or five. All right, we're moving up to the uh, Gold Tip Warrior 400 shaft with a 200 grain tip. Total air weight, 492 grains. One eight five. One eight two. One eight seven. One eight six. One eight eight. Okay, moving up to our last arrow, the uh, GT Warrior 340 spine with a 250 grain tip, total arrow weight 572.
Okay, so that's the uh, that's the results on that. I'm going to go ahead and tabulate the numbers and put them in the comments down below. But uh, you know, I recently did a velocity test on the 35-pound slick stick, and just did a quick glance. The velocities on the Tolki, on the 40-pound Tolki, they're a little higher, but not that much. Uh, maybe five to ten feet per second uh, per per each for each arrow weight. So we'll crunch it out and uh, see the results. You know, I imagine part of the difference is with the Tolki, uh, it's a 64 inch bow. I'm drawing about 31 inches. With the slick stick, it's a 60 inch bow. And I'm drawing the same 31 inches. So I imagine with the shorter limbs, that extra three inches uh, has to add, stack more power in, into those limbs. So there's a difference, but it's not that much. I'm going to do a little shooting with the uh, 40 pound Tolki whip. I got a variety of 400 spine arrows with uh, 175 grain field points. We'll be shooting from 20 yards. Okay, let's see how we did. That last arrow was a short one. It flew a little out of pattern. So let's zoom in on our target here and have a look. There we go. Not horrid. So we're in a pretty good pattern. And so uh, thanks for sticking around and watching the video, and I'll see you on the next video.